so far we deal with a lot of question of finding limits of uh, so many different type of the question and uh, among them all i think this is one of the very conceptual questions so please uh, keep in mind everything every step properly this will be really giving you a uh, uh, really good concept to solve such similar more questions okay so see here whenever you get your uh, you know limit something related to pi something related to pi like theta tends to pi by 2 or theta tends to pi or x tends to pi by 2 or pi by 2 anything you know related to pi then most of the time most of the time what do you have to do you have to uh, change your this limit uh, change your approaching value you know in this case if you're going to insert the value of x tends to pi by 2 then this x will be pi by 2 and then pi by 2 minus pi by 2 what you'll get you'll get denominator as a 0 and numerator we don't care any any uh, time all right so you're gonna get uh, uh, again undefined value so it's really a trouble so in such cases I'm telling you whenever you get pi related uh, approaching value then you know uh, let me tell you one thing when x approaches to pi by 2 what do you mean that what do you mean uh, what do you understand from x approaches to pi by 2 it means x is going to be almost almost equal to pi by 2 the value of x and pi by 2 is almost almost same but not exactly equal there is a little 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 difference between them so what i'm thinking uh that let me add few things maybe uh let me add a very very little quantity that is called h all right this may be plus something or maybe minus something but that is extremely equal to zero almost nothing it is all right a very small quantity i'm going to add i might have subtracted uh, all right because this may be plus or maybe minus i don't know so just i said it's plus h and now this approaching uh, sign is going to get equal with pi by 2 all right as i told you x is going to be equal with pi by 2 is approaching pi by 2 but it was lack of something and that lack thing is h so i'm just writing now x plus h is equals to pi by 2 now all right so that time i can write x equals to pi by 2 uh pi by 2 minus h all right and one more thing when x approaches to pi by 2 and x plus h equals to pi by 2 then that time what i can say that h is approaching towards the zero you know because x and pi by 2 both are almost equal so the difference between these two is what nothing you know almost zero if, if you just bring you know this pi by 2 this side if you just bring uh, x minus pi by 2 then that quantity you know uh, it's almost almost nothing almost almost zero you got it so this is almost zero x minus pi by 2 is almost zero or you can say like pi by 2 minus x that is almost zero we are now going to write h tends to zero and this is possible only when h is going to approach zero so when h approaches to zero means i'm going to add almost zero nothing you know i'm almost going to add nothing on x then it's going to get equal with pi by 2 so uh, if it is true then this is true this is true and this is true okay so now i'm going to convert this whole question in the format of h okay so limit when x approaches to pi by 2 that time h approaches to 0 all right uh, here you can say let we had suppose that so now 10 2 and in the value of x i'm going to put pi by 2 minus h all right it's pi by 2 minus h and then divided by again x in the place of x again i'm writing here pi over 2 minus h minus pi by 2 and the reason of doing these all things was I can cancel this pi by 2 and pi by 2 so that I will get h, all right? And uh, I will not get 0 again further. But still, this time I'm getting 0. I have to work a little, all right? Because s tends to 0 directly, you're getting denominator 0. But uh, there we are going to get something very interesting thing here. Now, see, tan, all right? When this 2 will multiply pi by 2, you'll get pi. And again, this 2 will multiply this h, you'll get 2h. And in the denominator we have minus h and now let me tell you my friend what is the formula of pi minus theta can you tell me yes that is minus tan theta if you go to the circle you know the cast rule c a s t you know and now pi comes here right so uh, pi minus you know this is pi so pi minus it means we are in the second quarter and in second quarter only sine and cosine uh, sine and cosec is positive tan is negative so that's why uh, this will be first negative and now next thing whether the tan will be same or different as i told you in this you know pi and zero line the the trigonometric ratio do not change so it will be tan only all right and angle will be now 2h right 
so that's it you know and divided by minus h we have here and limit is here h tends to 0 okay this minus this minus cancel and now we can uh, write limit h tends to 0 tan 2h divided by h now again see uh, we have a very standard formula for the uh, tangent that is limit when theta tends to 0 tan theta divided by theta equals to 1 but angle tends to 0 angle divided by angle but here we have angle 2h twice of h so we can multiply by 2 and here also and uh, now limit also see i'm writing here 2h because when h tends to 0 definitely 2h will tends to 0 when h is almost equals to 0 then twice of h will be also 0 you know uh, means approaching value is 0 right so now directly you can use the formula and this is going to result as 1 times 2 that's 2 and if there is any more confusion about this question then please feel free to comment below this video i will be really happy to reply you in the comment section and uh, please like the video and subscribe the channel bye bye